Today is uh, moving day for the juvenile puff adders. Uh, you're looking at the Somali uh, puff adder who is just hell on wheels. And over in this corner we have uh, uh, Carol Channing, the Cape puff adder with the uh, uh, ocular disorder. Uh, she's investigating uh, her new home. Now basically the way I set things up is her tail is just about on the hot spot. I use a heating panel in this cage and <clears throat> I put foliage over on the other side uh, for hiding area on the, the hot side of the cage and I put foliage over on the cool side of the cage if they want to be uh, hidden in a cool spot. Uh, this way they can select uh, whatever they want and everything in between. Now, evil Somali uh, meets uh, Carol Channing. Uh, hopefully, uh, since they've been residing next to one another and obviously could smell, taste one another, <clears throat> uh, maybe they will uh, get along okay. One would think uh, same species from a different area like uh, north meets south or something uh, you never know uh, uh, what's gonna go on no oh, that's pretty quick moving there uh, Miss Channing uh, uh, puffs can be surprisingly very fast up oh, here she comes do -de do 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 -de -de -de. Oh boy, is that a nice house, huh? You like that. I'm just checking out uh, to see where the edge of her her world is. And for those that don't know it, the type of movement she's doing is rectilinear motion, or sort of like a caterpillar. Um... It's the way these uh, heavy-bodied uh, puffs uh, and a lot of the bitus uh, motor around. And there's uh, Carol Channing's famous eye. I'm pondering whether I want to relieve some of the pressure again, although it does come back, uh, just to make her feel a little bit more comfortable. I imagine if my eye was that blown out that it would be rather painful and uh, discomforting but she's a she's a pretty good character she really doesn't uh, have a a very bad attitude like this thing right here yeah right I see you nod your head you little toad okay now be be nice because Carol Channing is coming up to visit Ooh, talk about antisocial. Hmm. I have to clean the uh, glass uh, and then I'll put the, the windows on and uh, let them go about getting acquainted and hopefully in a friendly fashion. Um, and then their old uh, visionarium will become uh, homes uh, once they're clean for uh, two dwarf bitis that I have, a male cornuta and a male caudalis. Uh, be some major uh, cage shuffling going on here. And as soon as I can I'll need a couple additional ones and I'm coming to the decision where I might have to uh, uh, send some animals uh, elsewhere just to uh, to make room for what I want or really want to have uh, you know 
God knows I want them all. What? You have such a bad attitude. Even for a puff adder, you have a bad attitude. Right, Mr. Sniffles? Yeah, of course Mr. Sniffles agrees, because the sniff uh, uh, doesn't have a uh, bad attitude in his body. She's always guaranteed to be huffing and puffing as soon as I get in the room, contrary to uh, the Canadians uh, think that uh, uh, puff adders are just a piece of cake. And there goes Carol Channing with her rectilinear motion on by. And the Somali is checking her out. And hopefully doesn't see her as any sort of a threat. Oh, there we are. Yeah, Miss Channing's really getting the exercise today. Oh, and, you know, of course the Somali, you know, in the dictionary, next to the definition of a puff adder, uh, Miss Somali here would have her picture, no question uh, about it. She is nasty and evil, and uh, she does huff and puff. <laughs> now, Miss Channing, what do you want, huh? See, Miss Channing's just uh, checking everything out, nice and relaxed. I really, really feel bad for her eye. And uh, I read in uh, Dr. Doug Mader's book that they have a procedure where they put in a little tiny uh, Teflon uh, tube to duct away the uh, extra fluid that's not being removed uh, naturally because the duct is uh, is clogged or just didn't form as a as a youth and uh, And, uh, you know, this is a rather cautious uh, path here. Miss Channing is checking uh, her out. This is not as easy as uh, having the ball python in the... Uh, the squamager together. Oh, Miss Channing's uh, climbing on top. I just took a quick look, and the, the squamager and the ball python are hanging out in the uh, bottom of the cage together. Miss Channing is making nice. Uh, the Somali does seem a bit standoffish. Hmm. She just wants to be friends there, Somali. Just goes to show you that Somali Puff Adder just doesn't seem to really care for anybody. I mean, at the moment, she's not huffing and puffing and, well, I take that back. <clears throat> and just letting uh, uh, Miss Channing there uh, uh, taste around, so to speak.
You know, that's one thing I don't like about this tripod. I'm going to have to take it apart and uh, put some grease on, uh, on all these different uh, motion things. They don't seem to move very smoothly. Okay, it looks like Miss uh, Channing is making tracks over the Somali. This is like two teenagers moving into a, uh, a deluxe apartment with uh, all, the, uh, all the comforts uh, that you've been wishing for. Now hopefully these two roommates uh, get along real well. Uh, I don't think uh, Miss Channing will have a problem, but the Somali, uh, that's an open question. See, Miss Channing is is a bit hyper now because I came a little closer and uh, she's in unfamiliar territory still. But uh, she's not as evil as the uh, other puff at her. You're okay. Well, I think that will conclude uh, a moving day for the juvenile puffs. Um, and now I'll uh, go on to uh, uh, clean the glass and put the glass on and then move on to cleaning their old visionarium so I can put those two uh, uh, dwarf bittus in there.